Hey, Rocco, Chris, um, you know, just gave Aaron Judge credit saying he basically won the ball game for the Yankees. Uh, tough to give him the credit when you guys had some missed opportunities there where you could have maybe gotten to them earlier in a close game when it was locked up there. Well, I think it was a competitive ball game and we did some things, uh, put some swings on the ball and, and had some opportunities um, that gave us a chance. Um, you know, were we able to come through with it? No, you know, Jake Cave actually had a pretty, you know, pretty damn good day swinging the bat, um, hit the ball in the barrel, you know, down both lines, gets nothing out of it. Uh, you know, lines one in the gap, gets nothing out of it. Um, we got to find other, you know, ways to, to score some runs and make some things happen. But we were in the ball game right in the middle of the game, you know, in a two to two game. And uh, we have a chance to win a ball game at that point. We're right in the middle of it. We just, uh, you know, didn't didn't find a way for the last couple of innings and, and play the baseball that we want to for the last couple of innings. Fitting that you were asked about Gary Sanchez and his offense here lately, and then he goes and locks it up at two for you guys in his former ballpark. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was one of the furthest home runs I think I've seen hit here, and I've been in this ballpark a fair amount. Um, you know, that's what that's what Gary Sanchez is capable of. Um, he can he can really impact the ball, and uh, he let it fly and didn't even overdo things on the swing. But he he he's capable of of backspinning a ball a long way, and uh, it got us going today for a little while. Happy with what Archer gave you guys to keep this one competitive tied up at two especially against a tough lineup like that yeah it was a solid start that's what I would call it I think he gave us a good solid uh effort and um all the way around competed competed pretty good I'm, I'm sure that you know he's probably pleased with most of what he did there's probably a few things that he would like to redo if possible um but most of uh, his plan and his execution looked uh looked like what I would want it to look like Um, well, I mean, that's what the game boiled down to. I mean, they, they went deep, what, three times? Is that it? Um, and you know, when you, when you truthfully, you know, you got to play good baseball, you got to make all the plays and all those things matter. But when you hit three homers in a game, you're going to have a decent chance to win the ball game. And, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, if you looked at the overall quality of, of the at-bats, I think, think we pitched them reasonably tough and, uh, you know, it was fine, but honestly, when when you leave some pitches where you don't want to, when uh, good hitters hit them on the barrel in this ballpark, they're generally going to go. And um, you know, that's that's why they won. They they overall, I mean, they they played better. They won the game. You know, it's, there's there's not a lot to really uh, uh, you know go into on on that part of it. At least um, you know they they uh, outperformed us and hit some balls good. I was going to say, Rocco, how do you approach Aaron Judge these days? The past week, he was kind of the lone offense for the Yankees. That's just the way they had been going. And he's so hot. I mean, Chris said, obviously, you know, you want to be in the strike zone trying to get him out. But how do you balance that between being careful with a guy that's going that well and, and trying to get him out? Yeah, you. Um, I think you, you have to take uh, into consideration what's going on uh, in the game and what's going on around him and what's going on in the lineup and all of those different things are going to matter. I mean, listen, he's, uh, you know, right now, this, especially this season that he's having, he's always been a very good player, um, better than that even. And uh, this season he's been as good of a player as any of us have seen in a long time. And um, uh, because of that, you do have to give certain guys extra, you know, consideration um, there are times to attack him. There are times to, you know, pitch him differently. Um, and we're going to continue to just assess it as the games go by. And, um, you know, there are times you just you go head on where, you you know, even if there's a good player on the other side of the field, um, you go at them and you, you know, look at any weakness he might have. You look at your strengths and you go right at him. So um, it's it's challenging when you when you are facing a guy that's as locked in as him. But um, uh, you can get anyone out in this game if you make the right pitches. And uh, that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah, I think that's a hard thing for all of us to truly appreciate. Um, you know, we understand all of the, you know, you open up the your computer or the newspaper or whatever and you look at what guys are doing. Um, but understanding that, you know, it's been harder to hit this year. 
It's been harder to score runs this year. Um, and some of the numbers that we used to look at and, and go, yeah, those are decent numbers. They're actually really good numbers now um, in a lot of ways. But uh, the, the downturn hasn't seemed to affect a few guys, and Judge is one of those guys.